everyone in this video I'll be taking you through a basic formula in Excel along with the referencing which is the very most uh, important important options of Microsoft Excel to start with let us understand a very basic formula there are so many formulas in Excel so as the videos progresses we'll start exploring many number of formulas to start with we'll, we'll take you through a very basic arithmetic formulas now when it comes to arithmetic formulas usually there are five different types of arithmetic formulas which are universally used say addition subtraction multiplication division and exponents though pretty much lesser in terms of usage exponents is one of the other important arithmetic operations that we have just to explain the conceptually when it comes to addition these are something which is everyone knowing addition is represented by plus subtraction represented by minus multiplication is represented by star which in terms called as asterisk division is represented by a slash and exponent we represent this by a symbol called cap cap symbol that we usually found uh, on your uh, keyboard along with the numerical values let's say uh, by using function button and pressing 6 we usually get this or shift 6 usually gives you the caps button and different different keyboards have different kind of uh, methods to use this cap so whichever the keyboard you are using you can find the symbol of cap on your numerical values and then you can use it accordingly if it is a part of a functional key you can use shift if it is a part of your numerical keys uh, I'm sorry if it is a part of a numerical key you can use shift if it is a part of a functional key you can use function now when it comes to addition assuming that in, in your Microsoft Excel if you can visualize the Microsoft Excel window say in cell A1 you have one particular value called 3 and in cell A to cell B1 you have a value called 2 so one value you have in A1 and another value you have in B1 if I have to perform addition then the formulas are presented here A1 plus B1 I'm sure everyone knows already the formulas in Microsoft Excel always start with equals to the moment you mention equal to Excel understands that you are trying to type a formula that you are going to give a formula or a function whether it is a formula or a function in Microsoft Excel it always starts with equals to then when it comes to subtraction it is equals to a1 minus b1 for multiplication a1 star b1 for division a1 slash b1 and for exponents a1 cap b1 these are the basic formulas which everyone actually knows moving forward when we get into the excel demonstration we'll try to understand each one of this i'll first demonstrate this and then i'll come back to my slides later okay this is your excel window so i said value there is a value here instead of a1 i made a1 and a2 b1 i made headings here value 1 and value 2 3 is in a2 now and 2 is in b2 now I just need to apply formulas as I said all the formulas usually starts with equals to so mention equal to where does my first value land you can either type now 3 is in a2 my first value is in a2 I can write directly go and type a2 you see that that particular cell is highlighted with a blue colored line which means that particular value is in formula zone either you can type the value directly or once equals to is been activated you directly just go and click on the particular value then you see still the a2 is already typed now as it is additional function I'll just go and mention put plus out here and then my second value is 2 I'll keep it here now I've made addition equals to a2 plus b2 now when it comes to parenthesis wait I think okay when it comes to parenthesis whether to keep the parenthesis or not to keep the parenthesis is your choice in this particular case unless you have multiple operations used in the same formula the parenthesis are not needed say for example I'll quickly remove the parenthesis and give you a demonstration so now a2 plus b2 is 3 plus 2 that is 5 the output is very clear now say for example I have another value called 4 here and I'm trying to give a different formula I'll just go here separately just for your understanding I'll just go put an equals to here 
And what I want to do, I wanted to make 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4. Now if I type like this, now 3 is here, plus 2 is here, and then I have to multiply with 4. If I do this, now you must be remembering the Bodmer's formula in mathematics. Now it is a confusion even for the computer, what, what kind of calculation it has to first. Whether should I add A2 plus B2 first? and then go for multiplication by B4 or I wanted B2 and B4 to be multiplied then do some with A2. This instruction has to be given by you to the computer. Like if I have to first multiply A2 and B2, I'll have to put parenthesis here. This is mandatory. If I don't give a parenthesis here, the result might not be appropriate. Now for example, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 into 4, so it is 20, it should be the answer. Now you see there is a 20. If in case, I have to multiply 4 and 2 plus, 4 into 2, 8, and 8 plus 3, it should be 11. Let's see how that works. Equals to, again the same formula, 3 plus 2 multiplied by 4. Now instead of keeping the braces between A2 and B2, I, would, I will keep the parentheses between B2 and B4. Now you see the answer, there is a difference. So, Depending upon the change of parenthesis on your formula, the value will change. So computer understand the process differently. I wish this needs to be very clear understanding to you. While using the parenthesis, if your formula is having multiple operations, then use of parenthesis comes very important. Fine. Okay, coming back here. Here the formula of addition is A2 plus B2. That gives me sum of 5. Similarly, equals for when it comes to subtraction, I'll say A2 minus B2. That gives me 1. When it comes to multiplication, A2 into B2. That's 6. And then division, A2 divided by B2. It's 1.5. And here it is power. When I say 3 power, I have to keep a cap symbol. I press it by shift 6. And for me it is a cap symbol and then b2 which means 3 squared 3 power 2 what is 3 power 2 usually it should be 9 so i have 9 this is how a basic mathematic or arithmetic operations have to be done in microsoft excel and as i said if you have to perform multiple operations in a single formula then please ensure the parentheses are appropriately used i wish that is clear now, to, to extend the discussion a little further, if you wanted to spread your formulas to multiple cells, now that it is a single single formula, you started typing it manually. Now I have to do this sum calculation or subtraction or multiplication across so many records. Let's say that I have got 10,000 records and I have to perform the same operations across all the records. It's not possible for me to manually go and type the formula in every cell. So rather what I'll do, I'll mention operation, say I'm here taking an example of a sum between value 1 and value 2. Here it is in A10 I have 3 plus in B10 I have 2. So the sum of this is 5. Now I also want to perform sum between these two, sum between these two, sum between these two, these two and these two. Should I go and type the formula again? Like I just Let's say I'm, I'm going to type, type some again like here plus and then this. Should I do that? Like this, if I start doing it in every cell, it would be a time taking process. So what I'll do, as the formula is already there, I'll just drag. If you see, if, if you observe clearly here, when I click on this particular cell, if you go to the formula bar and see the, the values are A10 plus B10. So A10 plus B10, double click and see these two numbers are selected. Here, especially in this particular side, I did not enter any formula. But you see the formula is automatically generated as A11 plus B11. Here it is A12 plus B12. Here it is A13 plus B13. Which means this formula increments automatically depending upon where you are copying this formula. Say for example, this is A10 plus B10. I am just copying it here. And then I want to paste my formula here. You see how many cells I am going ahead. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 cells I am going ahead. Currently my cell is in A10. 
then here it should be a17. You see the formula a17 plus b7. On what basis is it taking? It is taking the referencing here. In this particular cell it is 7. So that's how the formula automatically gets incremented based upon where you are typing and how you are dragging the formula. So this is a kind of cell referencing. In certain context, you don't want the increment to be happening. You wanted certain values to be constant. In such case, the cell referencing has to be done in a different way. So what I'll do, I'll explain this referencing now after this particular discussion. Now, now that you understood how to perform arithmetic operations, and in case in a single cell, if you have to perform multiple operations or multiple arithmetic operators, you have to use then you also need to remember the parenthesis has to be used properly. Going back to my slides, this is this is what we have already discussed. Going to my next slide, you see there is something called a cell referencing, which there are three types of cell referencing. One is relative reference, that's what we have seen now. We have actually put a value a, a, a10 plus b10, and then when we drag, the values have incremented to a11, a12, b12 automatically. So which means when a1 plus b1 are plain, without any special characters given to it then these people are called as these uh, this referencing is called as relative referencing if i have to make my a and one fixed and b one to be fixed even if i drag my values remain same in such context i'll have to put dollar symbol then that will be called as absolute referencing so this is where we are trying to understand so this is called as absolute referencing. So absolute, absolute referencing works when we try to understand that the value of A and the value 1 should be not incremented. Usually when I say A, it's a column and 1 is a row. So which you wanted to increment, whether you wanted to increment column, whether you wanted to increment a row, you have to decide. For example, I wanted A incrementation to happen, which means from A it has to go to B from B it has to go to C, from C it has to go to D when I drag the formula. In such case you have to remove the dollar. Right? When you remove the dollar and when you drag the formula increment happens. When you keep the dollar then the increment will not happen which means that value will remain constant. That's how the referencing is decided. When there are, when there are absolutely no dollar value is given then that's called as relative references to the formula when there are dollar value given to both rows and columns row when i'm saying row i'm talking to i'm referring to numbers when i'm saying uh, yay or characters i'm referring to the columns right then what is mixed references you have two things here again a is rep representing column and one is representing a row if a dollar value is given to any one of this either to the column or to the row not for the both then it is called as a mixed referencing concept i think conceptually it is a little confusing to understand what we will do we'll directly go to microsoft excel we'll try to practice them a little and we'll get a fair understanding so here with this here we have a excel sheet wherein i've mentioned certain values under value one there are so many values i've put at least i've mentioned uh, six values under column value one and under our column the value two I have only mentioned three a single value now I have to perform addition here equals to <clears throat> the addition of three plus three that's what I would like to achieve here a2 plus b2 what I'll get is six that's addition now what I want I wanted addition to happen with each number with three I wanted four to be added by three 12 to be added by 3, 18 to be added with 3, 24 to be added with 3, and 43 also to be added with 3. Now, already there is a formula A2 plus B2. What happens if I drag? Did I get a right answer? Now, what I was actually uh, trying to achieve, I wanted to know 4 plus 3, here the value should be 7. It did not come because, you see the formula, it is a3 plus b3 but under b3 there is no value which is why it is considered 4 when there is no value it considers 0 4 plus 0 that has given me 4 but what was my intention my intention was I have to add this value with 3 this value with 3 and so on 
if I have to do that, the B2 value where the 3 is located has to be fixed, which means in this particular formula, what I have to do, I'll just have to go to B2. I wanted to make it fixed. So I'll enter dollar for B. I'll also enter dollar for 2. Now, this is called absolute referencing because I have given the dollar for both for column and also to the row. When I say column, B is a column and 2 is a row. So B2 I have made fixed. If I drag the formula now, in every cell this B2 remain fixed. It will not be any other value. Check for example, I am just dragging the formula now. Now randomly pick any particular formula and see the B2 is remaining same. The B2 is same. The B2 did not change. Here there is B2. Here there is B2. Here there is B2. So the second value remains same. And my formula you can see it now gives me right answers. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 12 plus 3 is 15. 18 plus 3 is 21. 24 plus 3 is 27. 43 plus 3 is 46. Let us now similar way do it with subtraction. Equals to a2 minus b2 now i wanted 3 to be common across all the values what i will do i'll have to put a dollar 